Hello, conscious breathers, infinite beings alike, breath family. This is the first live I've done in a whole week. I took a week long break. We had our own uh, retreat here, the Breath Ascension Retreat. I'm going to talk a little bit about that, the, up, the upcoming Scalar event, uh, the Scalar seminar that I'm going to be doing, uh, the workshop and a little hint of my patent that's coming up. Hey, be welling, hey sister. He cries, he colors. I'm wait for some few people to hop in. All right. Run, run Sutern. Don't know how to say your name. Welcome. <laughs> Misha goes, Scalar for the people. Yeah. Hey, what's going, Art? I just want to also take the time out and say a quick thank you to a lot of you that are sharing um, the patent release. I'm going to dive into a little bit more details about that and how you can actually win one yourself towards the end. So, uh, a little recap of the Breath Ascension Retreat that we had here. It was literally a, a long, beautiful week. You know, it's, it's always the first day that starts off rough. And, and then we did, we started off with um, some sound healing as soon as everyone got here and got settled here in Miami. And then the next day we did sun gazing protocols. And then uh, <laughs> one of the one of the favorite highlights of the week was uh, getting buried. That was one of my favorite top highlights. But literally every day was different. Every day was in depth. Every day, almost every day, was a sound healing, a sound bath, uh, some cupping, uh, the sauna. Ooh, the sauna was so much fun with sound healing in the sauna. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Man, nah, for me, for me, it really felt like a retreat because I didn't didn't focus on making any content over the week, so I didn't didn't really do that, and uh, I focused more on everybody, <laughs> everybody who came to the retreat. So it was called the Breath Ascension Retreat, and why, one of the reasons why I called it Breath Ascension because. Uh, what are we retreating from when we when we go to quote unquote retreats? It's like we're running from ourselves, right? So why not add the word ascension in there and um, have and hold that intention when it comes to an experience like that? You know, it was <laughs> there's only so much words I can honestly use to describe this powerful week. It was emotionally shifting for everyone in there. Everyone got also a chance to um, get their own scalers as well and got to meet the person who introduced me to scalers and I told them the other things I've been doing with them and gave them some guidance on amplifying their scalers and the whole experience with it. So they got to also experience uh, the Rife Machines uh, the light healing machines, so many, so many different dimensions of <laughs> this retreat. I didn't expect that I would be rolling out. <laughs> Amazing! Can't wait to participate in 2022. Yeah, uh, we're we're looking at either February or April, one or the other. Not sure which yet, but people are voting in. I definitely. If it's not February, I definitely want to do it after I come back from Egypt. That's more ideal. And then um, around that time, that's when I'll start the teacher training as well. Everything will be in-depth, structured by then. Can you give us some insight into your first-hand experience with Rife? Uh, with Rife, Rife is a little bit different from Scalar, but Rife itself, I really didn't feel 
that much of a difference, honestly. Um, but um, I definitely felt a light shift. But for people, it could be dramatic. It's, for some people, they don't take care of themselves as much, you know? So, so many different factors when you use frequency devices and, and things of that nature. But scalar, it was a scalar for me. Yeah, the scalar shifted a lot for me. I felt even more, a more in-depth experience with scalar than just a Rife machine. But one of the things we're doing here in Miami uh, with those Rife machines is actually setting it on specific frequencies that, uh, that we sweep with the scalar machines itself. Uh, we, we got a little, a little insight from Bashar with the help of Bashar doing that and it made a huge shift, humongous shift. And when you do self-testing, when you're doing um, self-muscle testing, or even if you are an intuitive, like a highly intuitive person, or kinesiology, well, pick your, pick your uh, medicine, whatever the case may be, and you ask yourself after doing, using those specific frequencies with either scalar or the rife, using those specific sweeps, I want you to ask yourself if you do have these or ever get to experience it, ask yourself, or even if you're also on the scalar, if you send your pictures and you're been you've been put on the scalar over here, ask yourself in in three days, has time in my energetic field move forward or backward? And the answer is going to be no. Okay, <laughs> then the only thing left logically is that you're residing more in that zero point field where you have life. There's the spin of life and there's also the spin of death and they meet in the middle that that the Tao as they call it or the the yin the yang where they meet in the middle more of your energetic feel is residing in there where time is really at a standstill John John himself experimented and he said okay the time move faster the time move slower are we going backwards in time all the answers are no I can see the shift in your eyes. Hope one day that I have an honor to have the same experience. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, we'll be making that announcement in about a week. We'll figure it out. Um, some people are actually voting on my story. So, yeah, if you're really interested in uh, coming to another Breath Ascension, um, definitely let me know. And I gave the option. It wasn't a fasting retreat, but you have the option to fast. I will definitely help you. Um, whatever, whichever, whatever types of fasting you're doing, I'll definitely be able to help guide you. It wasn't a fasting retreat, but you did have the option, the space as well, and it's a very healing space in, in general. So, <laughs> a lot of people find it a lot easier to fast, and and um, we also have options for either your uh, you like cooked food in terms of vegan, or you're more raw or your more juices, whatever the case may be. We also have we also have those options for people. Jen made, uh, my partner, she made stuff I've never, I never knew she could make. <laughs> well, I don't eat, so <laughs> even, even for her, she was trying out new things as well. So, uh, you, <laughs> when, uh, if someone were to hop on live, maybe in a, in a few days and give their experience of Breath Ascension Retreat, uh, they'll tell you Jen's cooking is Profound. I think someone's here from it. I'm not sure who is that. You, Isaac? I saw the heart. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. So those options are going to be available. Um, yeah. If you want to fast or. Uh, sh you know, this whole retreat. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna come out with a cookbook. Not a cookbook. Well, like a recipe book type of thing. Yeah. She made a lot of raw stuff that um, made people at the retreat want to become more raw as well. So, all right. So we talked about the retreat. So let's tap into any experience with people he dealing with Lyme disease and rife, and particularly the scalar. Yeah, the scalar would help with Lyme 
for sure. Uh, John, John told me a bunch of stories with people um, experiencing Lyme and using the rife or the scaler to really help them. Uh, there's even specific frequencies for Lyme, so you would literally tap all those in. And in the, in the workshop, oh, let's dive into the scalar workshop before even tapping into the pattern. Uh, the workshop is coming up November 20th. It's going to be exclusively, mainly in the Breath Family Members group. November 20th, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'll be going over... Uh, my experiences with the scaler, how to amplify the scaler in many different facets, how to also increase um, the range as well with the scaler. Also, and and the main part is getting your own scaler, and that's going to be specifically in the video. So. <laughs> There's going to be specific instructions of how to get the scalar towards the end, or like more like middle point. I'm going to make it a certain way where you can't just, if 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 someone from the breath family members group is trying to like skip ahead and trying to find that part or whatever, I'm going to make sure it's going to be very hard to find, because I want to keep the integrity of how to use a scalar, and um, and really amplifying the benefits and really creating a community with the scalar as well. Blessings, blessings. Yeah, so you're going to have to be part of the Breath Family members group. And I really, really thought about this for a very long time. And I definitely want to keep that quality energy with that. I don't just want anyone just buying it off the rip. <laughs> It'd be nice if um, people are actually practicing the breath work and practicing that cultivating energy and putting it into the scaler as well uh, when they get the products so um, also when you join the breath family membership you don't have to pay anything extra for the the seminar at all yeah so you don't have to pay anything extra the only thing you'll have to pay is just buy, purchasing the scaler for yourself that's it Okay, so we talked about powerful retreat that's coming up, and now we're going to tap into, oh yeah, the patent. So, this patent literally took me two years to create and <laughs> utilize efficiently for mass production, and this patent is based off bees so I'll give you a hint with that it's based off bees and the fact that bees don't fly they levitate so this pattern will help a lot of people dramatically who um, and even if you're anti-mask as well this will help you dramatically if you're in a space where they say hey put on your mask right um, it, it's gonna help you <laughs> So, so uh, a, a quick a quick note. Um, people who came to uh, the Breath Ascension retreat, they all got to have an exclusive with the patent, and they got, all got to keep it and went home with it. So some flew. Um, there was only one person that flew already with it, and been getting some positive feedback <laughs> with it. So. Uh, it's just perfect timing. It, it really is perfect timing with this patent. And if you have a dream, if you have a vision, and you can really focus and really give your intentional healing energy or whatever the case may be, but intention is everything. When you can stay put with that intention and when people are telling you no laugh laugh keep keep on laughing <laughs> laugh laugh because the more you laugh and the more you focus on what you're creating you'll have the last laugh I promise you I promise you you'll have the last laugh so <laughs> you know a lot of people 
a lot of people claim um, breath is life and, and things like that and it behooves me that they're not creating breath devices um, like this <laughs> love this one <laughs> yeah laugh laugh laughing is healing and you know what else you're laughing at and put it to you like this so a lot of people in Jersey told me no when I used to live in Jersey and to do events and stuff like that a lot, a lot of different spaces told me no because they probably found me weird and that's even a weird saying within the spiritual community right so <laughs> I got the last laugh I got the last laugh when some of these spaces had to get closed down because of COVID but not in not in that way but just in just in the sense of just sticking with what I was doing no matter what even if they laughed at me sticking with what I was doing and getting the results I've been getting and the results literally speak for themselves the energy speaks for themselves the energy will will have your back if your if your intentions are pure and <laughs> no matter what force is coming at you. So this is a force telling you no, and this is you, right? Are you just gonna let the force completely take over you? Nah, let's laugh at it. Let's laugh at it and transmute all that force coming in. And then, just slowly, it's pushing away, right? And that's a key moment in your lives. Whenever you feel that pressure, whether it be stress, whether it be sadness, or some type of difficulties that that's like at a, at a really high level that you can really feel it like man I really feel the pressure on me I really feel this on me that's a great time to really laugh and send all that laughing energy into the next step the neck your next step is so important because your next step could either put you in a deep hole of an endless pit of just downward spiral or the next step could literally give you a beautiful path going upwards yes it's gonna be hard <laughs> going on the rocky mountain upwards but it's worth it it's worth it and it's mainly the journey that really that really lives a biggest imprint than the end goal and even when I release this, when you see it for yourselves and the impact it can have on a human being, it's only the, it's only the beginning. It's only the beginning. So, yeah, do you guys have any questions for me? I got a little bit of time. I want to maybe hop into a little breathwork session towards the end here. But I'm, I would love to take some questions or if anyone wants to hop on live and chat it up might have to connect with you on that before you head out. Oh, where are you from? Are you located in Miami, uh, Phil? Yeah, journey is the goal. <laughs> the journey is the goal. Are you gonna be in Miami the 20th? Yeah, I have an event, a scalar event, a scalar sound bath the 21st. Oh yeah, so if you want to fly in for that, you need to get your tickets now. If if you if you want to fly in for that cuz a lot of people said they're flying out here. So, again, I'm also truly honored and and humble that people are really flying out here for a 2-hour event like this. Thank you for co-creating the space. It's not about me, it's about we. And this device is definitely a we <laughs> to the, the ego that is the just the self because this is going to shift a lot of things and a lot of people's mind and people who even have um, traumatic problems with breath work or even a deviated septum oof this one this one's gonna shift people with deviated septum people with allergies people with so many things so many things and it's the breath that brought me here the breath still teaches me till this day I will forever say that because that's how expansive the breath is and I keep on telling people the breath is a living entity it's a living being it has seen all it has felt all 
It has experienced all. I'm in Baltimore, but happy to come down. Been dealing with this Lyme disease all my adult life. Meds, subs haven't worked. Oof, gotta lose the meds. <laughs> gotta lose the meds here. Can you can see how exciting you are about this project? Oh yeah, man. It's it's definitely a next chapter in my life that I can definitely see something powerful being left behind once I leave uh, social media or whatever. So I'm really, I'm really happy I came out with it in this time for sure. Can I ask what's underneath your headband? Oh, I don't have it today in here, but usually I put a tensor ring underneath my headband. Yeah, normally I would put a tensor ring underneath. Yeah, so I'm really pumped about this project. And it's, <laughs> you know, I presented I presented the, the scaler for, and I also gave coaches an opportunity as well to see if they wanted to use it for their practices only like a few only a few have contacted me about collaborating and so many follow me so I don't know what's up with this this uh, there, there is no competition here this is <laughs> you're, if you're in that competition state of mind you're gonna learn sooner or later that's not the way to thrive community come unity come unity community is the way to thrive there is no solo solo city is there i don't know there's a solo city out there <laughs> there's only community here i bought the scalar healing did you already start it um depends if you did it if you did it last week, most likely not. Uh, literally tomorrow, all the back orders that we have is literally going on tonight. So if you did it last week, most likely not. I would love to come to Miami and meet you. Yeah, come on come on to the event, November 21st, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I will... Um, I think Instagram took me out of jail. And I can go a lot longer than one hour. And they're definitely watching me. Especially with this whole patent thing. So. Um, another thing I want to say. Don't, don't have any fear. If you have something to give to the world. People can show you all this history of people doing this. But then this happened. But this and then this happened. Have no fear. Fear. There's only so much you can do with fear. Focus on the aspect of fear that pushes you to higher heights to the point where the, the dark side of fear doesn't control your actions. I'm not saying not be fearful. Like, hey, fear is another emotion. Fear is part of this human experience, but fear can help push you into, uh, I don't even want to say positive, just a more dense, a dense, um, uh, a creative aspect of yourself rather than a destructive aspect of yourself. Fear can do that. And what do I mean by that? So, so many people go against, um, the, the majority of technology and the medical industry, whatever you want to call it, right? In the sense of holistic means. And some people who do it publicly, they are fearful or they say, hey, look at history. This person did this, but this happened, but this person did this, but this happened. But, right? And that's being more in a fear in, a, in the sense of self-destruction. Because now you're feeding into the aspect of, <laughs> you're overshadowing also what that person had intentionally gift to the world and the benefits it had to the whole collective. So, oh, there goes a bee. <laughs> Ooh, I was just talking about bees, right? That's really what my patent's about. Uh, another cool thing 
about bees, whenever you see bees or even a fly, get in the habit of following it because, again, bees don't fly, they levitate. So they're, they're, literally, they're literally riding on a frequency, a specific frequency. So you're literally visually seeing that frequency. There's even a meditating, a meditation where uh, the thing they call it bee watching or um, it's, like, it's like gazing into the candle. So people would literally be watch, and people who do this, and and um, and they make, and they're watching the bee, and then they make a harmonious connection with the bee. They age a lot slower than the average person. So what's happening is, see, your eyes eat too. Everything a part of you eat. There, you know, when it comes to breatharianism, it's it's not about not eating. It's about eating more in the sense of more in the aspect of frequency energy healing etc etc that's what breath air is about it's not about it's barely about the fasting aspect a lot of people get lost in the fasting aspect and that's when i see it when people they don't they don't last long long enough they don't when they they could they really can if they pay more attention to the foundation of life breath and just a meditative aspect with your mental capacity. So, going back to fear, uh, the more progressive, the more abundant aspect of fear is saying to yourself, "Hey, I feel this way when I'm fearful, when I when I'm feeding into into the destructive way. So, how can I take a path where?" I shift a certain aspect of myself that is not feeding that destructive side but shifting it to a point where it'll never even get there that's powerful that is sustainable that's progressive that's expansive that's everlasting that's how you do it. Where is a good start with UT? Daily a glass, just a gulp, or alternating days? That's a question. Um, Any time to drink it. Any time to drink it or just start with your skin, putting on your skin. Um, specifically, yeah, anywhere in your skin, just so you to also get that concept that it's not harming you, it's not doing anything of what society has tricked you to believe, and seeing it's a toxic waste product, but it's really not. Hugs. <laughs> Much love. Hugs for humanity. I have to go. Please save this live. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be up there. The more you pay attention to the bee, the more you notice them noticing you. That's what DC Grown Graham have said. Thank you. Yes. And thank you for the badge love. Relaxin' Roro. Thank you for the badge love. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about bees. Greetings, Airbender. Do you have any tips how to practice detachment from desires in a society that praises materialism? Hmm. You know, in alchemy, we focus more on our exhales than our inhales. And why is that? Well, exhale is where creation is in the sense, because when you exhale everything, what's left? It's more of you. When you inhale, what are you inhaling? You're inhaling your environment. You're inhaling sounds, frequency, energy. That literally is in front of you, like whatever's closest. You're inhaling that, right? So when you inhale... Your body has to read all the different frequencies, even beyond the material aspect of air. But I'm talking about the frequency aspect of air in terms of how your energetic body like sucks in energy beyond, beyond the physical. So this is why you want to pay more attention to your exhales. We're going to do a little mini breathwork session towards the end. And I'll give you some affirmations to also utilize with um, practicing detachment. This is why alchemy breathwork is so powerful as well mentally because 
your you also exercise yes your willpower but your will you also exercise your willpower to let go and this is why we pay more attention to our exhales than our inhales this is not about getting high this is about really shifting your breath consciousness to the point where every breath you take is a high rather than compartmentalizing it and this is what alchemy breath work is also about utilizing it in your daily life in real time beyond the sit down session thus making every life experience turning every breath into gold turning every experience into gold and this path has led me to this beautiful beautiful device I'm over here touching and and it's been a beautiful journey witnessing um, forget witnessing but just sharing with others and the impact it has that people can feel talking doesn't honestly do the, do it justice to even the testimonials you see when <laughs> some of those testimonials people when people are in like real time experiencing what they're experiencing and they try to put it to words I was like no it's okay if you can't if you can't put it to words just give it time let it settle it doesn't even need to be explained it doesn't even need to be processed with words it's energy goes way beyond words it does you know you can look at people who take bows of silence how are they how are they shifting throughout the world and 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 having a normal life they're doing it it's not holding them back and most of them really build an energetic resonance that is way beyond words and you can just feel it you can feel it <laughs> your energy is while I'm still here oh bless degrown So I want to give you a quick mental breath work for uh, Gareth here. Um, let's use a subconscious alarm. A subconscious, al a subconscious alarm is truly, truly powerful. And I'll go into why. Because some, let's say you sneeze, right? Do you have any control over when you sneeze or when not? Or when you don't sneeze? Do you have any control over that? No. That's a subconscious release, right? So... Uh, whatever you're working on or you can generalize it so you can really implant it deep within your subconscious mind in the sense of saying like, let's say you just sneeze right now right that's a great point in time to you can do an exhale hold where you let out your whole breath after a sneeze or just take a regular inhale then exhale hold it and say to yourself with this breath I'm accepting more of the energy to let go of what no longer serves me to a a progressive healthier path you can say like that or let's say you're trying to get rid of um, you're trying to quit alcohol or smoking you can say with this breath I'm accepting more of the energy to let go of smoking to let go of alcohol right after that sneeze right after a subconscious release that you have no control over whatsoever because that's a subconscious release right subconscious releasing and then you you're then you use that I, I call it a subconscious breath alarm and then you have a conscious breath with your intention and it's attaching to that subconscious release and it's going right back sending it right back to sender to your subconscious and that's how you program it's one of the ways to really program your breath and the attachments that we have built up with our breathing patterns it goes way beyond the physical addictions that we have. It's the breathing patterns that you are low-key addicted to. And I love to give this reference a lot. A lot of people who say, hey, I've done breathwork before, but I'm still addicted to smoking and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, what kind of breathwork have you been doing? It's more so, most likely, 99% of the time, it's most likely some mouth-breathing type of breathwork. So I'm like... I want you to take a minute right now and yeah you said you smoke right what do you do when you're smoking 
you're breathing in with your mouth to exhale, inhale the smoke, right? You see the correlation here? Go so deep. Go so deep. So deep. So deep. Man. <laughs> it goes so deep. Uh, your breathing patterns affect how the neurons literally make pathways in your in your body, in your brain, and those connections. And um, you know when you let's say you know something makes you really like mouth water, whatever addictions it may have, or you could think back on. Remember how you were breathing at that point in time where your mouth was watering over the addiction or uh, the, I don't know, the, the food or the, the cigarette or smoking or that, that itch, that, that, that subconscious part of your body that, that, that brings out the urgingness for it. Remember how you were breathing then. And you could definitely tell the difference. Like, whoa, yeah, I was definitely breathing a lot different. And some of you, maybe even more nasal breathers than mouth breathers, right? But still, there's certain addictions you're trying to let go of. Well, this goes into consciously programming your breath with different breathing patterns to then break certain patterns. <laughs> you know, you, can, you, can't ex you can't expect doing the same thing over and over again to get a different result. You just can't. And this type of system, alchemy breathwork, it's a system. It, it's acknowledging the modern times we live in. It's not outdated with respects of all the beautiful ancient systems out there. But it's, it really respects the modern era that we, that we live in. This is why I implemented Scalar, because now we live in a society where they're using Scalar in the opposite fashion. And I always remember when my Sifu was telling me this story with this monk. Far, he went far away from his village, right? Far, far away. A beautiful mountain. It took him a two-day walk. Two-day walk to go to this mountain, by the way. That's how far it is. It's really far. And he didn't know this, um, um, but there was a murder rampage in, in his specific village. And they caught the guy, and uh, no, one, no one died, thankfully. Nobody died, but a lot of people got hurt. I'm not going to go into too much detail of the story, but basically a lot of people got hurt on this um, murder rampage. But yeah, some people did die, and it literally spread from village to village. But specifically, his family got hurt, but they didn't die. And this monk, he's meditating, he's relaxing, and he feels the pain coming from, he's like, something's wrong. I feel it. I feel something's wrong over in my village. I don't know what it is. I feel it. I feel the pain. And he started crying. This is what he, this is my friend, this is my Sifu's friend. And he started crying, he started weeping. And he, he couldn't wait. And he was about two weeks into the mountain. Two weeks into the mountain by himself. Two weeks into the mountain. And then goes back to the village when he starts feeling this resonance. He went in there. He went in there and he heard the story for himself. And what does that tell you? No matter how far you run, energy moves no matter how far you go try to separate yourself from society no matter if it's off grid here and there shoot let's let's even bring up i think the place is called oroville oroville you know how much uh apparently a lot of sexual abuse has been going in oroville and that's like a secluded area in india over there and there's so many stories unfortunately that's happening over there <laughs> So, what have we learned here? You can't run away from your problems. They follow you. So, breathe, <laughs> breathe into those problems and shift it. That's your responsibility. 
breathing into those problems and not letting those problems change the way you breathe. So, does anyone have any more questions or anyone want to hop on here live? Hmm. Have you thought about what it would take to make a large scalar wave technology? Ooh, yeah. Um, that, that's something, though, I'm, I, I will never talk about online, though. <laughs> but yes, trust me, I have. I have. And if you come to the event... If you come to the event, you'll, you'll definitely feel keyword feel what I'm trying to do now what I'm what you see what I'm trying to do forget trying what I'm actually doing here and that's what's happening I'm amplifying the scalar wave energy this way as well so speaking of the event oh there goes the bee if you guys can see it um, speaking of this event I'm going to make a printout of the the blueprint with the alchemy breathwork symbol in the front I'll make the printout and if you can't make it, if you're somewhere else in the world, if you're somewhere else in the world and you can't make it, unfortunately, I want you to print out this printout and have it with you, meditate with it, breathe with it, or most likely what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go live on here and... I got a beautiful microphone here, so hopefully it'll capture everything during the, the sound bath. But you'll be, be able to participate virtually um, in the sound bath. So you're going to print it out yourself. And people actually did this last time where they printed it out. And I didn't go live, but I told people to, hey, meditate with it during the times of the sound bath. So wherever they are, they can really feel, hey... Is this scalar thing real? Let's let's find out. And within 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., because that's the main times that we do it, Eastern time, I think I, I did post some of their testimonials. A lot of people felt it. A lot. And I told people, hey, if you're going to sleep around that time, just ha like literally sleep on it. Like sleep on it. Print it out. Sleep on it. Um, <laughs> meditate with it. Breathe with it. But since I'm going to go live here, you guys can also join in. With the uh, with the paper printout, are we gonna be making stickers soon? I think that's definitely ideal. A lot of people have been asking for that, so I said, why not? So, yeah. And if you guys really want stickers, participate, please. So maybe we can use some of those testimonials, let the energy speak for itself, and share with people like, hey, put this anywhere, put this a lot of places, and that's how. That's another way of really really <laughs> making a huge impact all over the world. You, you, you're talking about a physical aspect of a big scalar device, right? But now I'm going quantum here. I'm going quantum in the sense where it's massive beyond a physical material. And just from one little tiny scalar, well, we're going to have about five actually. Um, some people from the retreat also got their own scalars. So, uh, they're going to bring it to the event as well. Whew. I think we're going to have, uh, there's Danny. Don't know if Wizard is getting one. So, we're going to have about five scalars in there. <laughs> Man. Okay, amazing. I saw in my mind something, but you're now in the right place. DM that info, if you will. Uh, what info are you referring to, King Soul? Welcome, brother. When is the event? The event is November 21st, 7 p.m. Eastern Time to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. How can one purchase a scaler? So if you're talking about sending your... So if you're new to my page, so what we've been doing... Um, people have been sending in their pictures of themselves. You can even do a picture of your cat or a picture of a specific area in your body. And they would also mail in a piece of their hair as well. And what we've been doing it, we've been actually putting them onto the scaler and they've been receiving over 60 plus healing frequencies to their body 24-7, 365. 24-7. 
you're not we we barely plug out the scaler here we have it on for our own selves like yeah <laughs> Yeah, for those that don't know Scalar, so I'll do it quickly. So what Scalar is, a Scalar device, what it does, it it doesn't create Scalar. What it does is you're accessing the Scalar field. That's what's happening. So when you access the Scalar field, now you can imprint certain frequencies. But beyond that, we're also using holographic technology as well. We even, even use a fiber optic. Uh, we even use fiber optic as well. That's also implemented. Okay, so when you so literally look at your picture as a fingerprint, it's only you, right? There's no other you, there's only you. So when you send that picture, you literally look at that as your fingerprint. And no matter where you are in the world, here from Miami, we're emanating that frequency scalar into your body 24 7, 365. Do we sign up for the event? Uh, yeah, if you're coming to the physical event, uh, the link is in my bio, www.alchemybreath.org slash events. It's right there. Or you can just go on the web main website and just click event. It's right there. Yeah, so no matter... So Scalar, it resides in zero-point energy. Um, you can say prana, chi, ki... It's all underneath the category of scalar. Even electricity itself is technically a derivative from scalar. Light is a derivative from scalar. You know, a lot of people say light travels faster than sound, and then what travels faster than light? Scalar. Scalar travels faster than light. And even in my new device here, uh, every device, I got to talk with um, Brother Gaia, that's who I co-created it with. I told him my vision for it, and we, <laughs> we came up with something totally, totally different than, than what I had anticipated. Something even way more powerful than what I anticipated. But they're all going on the scales way before they get shipped out, if you're going to get one yourself. That's sincerely the most human technology I've ever heard of. Now you know. <laughs> yeah. And there's testimonials in, on the page as well. Um, if you go to the, one of my highlights, it says Scalar. So you can click that and you can see the testimonials for yourself. Um, people with different illnesses, people that's been going through some pretty harsh stuff. Manifesting has really scaled up a lot of things for people. <laughs> Need me a brother guy. <laughs> yeah. What language meaning entomology is scalar? Uh, it's it's, it's a, I don't even know. In ter in terms of language, you can say it's quantum. Yeah, quantum language, that's what yeah, that's what's happening. Because if we're use if you also if you use holographic technology, it amplifies it by 80%. And then we use Here's a tricky, here's the, here's the wildest part within this whole scalar experiments we've been doing. Fiber optic cable. That for many people within the community um, that heard, heard about it, it didn't, they, they like, that fiber optic cable, like, why, how, but let's look at as above, so below, right? And even look at the foundation of what fiber optic cable is for. Fiber optic cable helps speed up waves in general. Speeds up waves. Scalar is not secluded from that. It's also included in terms of waves. And scalar itself is technically not scalar waves. It's technically scalar. It's an impulse, actually. You get it? Impulse, like your heart, pulsating. And even your aura is technically scalar. So we even did a 30-day experiment with um, or photography from day one all the way to day 30 with um, iHeart and he we placed him on the scaler and definitely check out his testimonial we did a, a Instagram live and he shared his whole experience so yeah a lot of people say it's high yes um, high and dandy and a lot of people see beautiful shifts yes um, but some people would will will see a shift like um, I I compare it to what people say about Moldavite. You know, people say when you get Moldavite, it speeds things up. 
and it's there in your face and you have to deal with it that's what the scalar does as well in that sense for sure <laughs> so if you're if you're in a if you're taking a specific direction and it's not in your true harmonious form it's going to shift you and even push you to be more responsible um more harmonious thoughts as well if you definitely check out the Gloria um, scalar testimonial with her with one of her family members going through a mental a mental breakdown your thoughts your thoughts itself is scalar so yes this also helps with mental health as well scalar is now I'm not even gonna say future it's now it's here it's here it's all these beautiful big pages are I love when they talk about ancient technology this, ancient technology that, but hey, we're here now. How? What can we learn from that? It's it's nice going over, hey, they did this here, they did this there, they did that there, but hey, what can we learn and do now with all that we know about ancient technology? And rather than dwelling over the past, what can do we do now? I'm about now. Because the more you're in the past or the more you're in the future, it's like you're chasing breaths of the past when it's technically not there. It's here now. So it's like you're detaching yourself in a sense from your true essence. And this is what kept me on the path. The breath is a powerful teacher. And I pray a lot of people who are watching this anyone who watches this stick on that path it will teach you way beyond any other guru teacher any of that <laughs> I like to say uh, alchemy breathwork is a classroom and the breath is a teacher it is when you say that free will is the purpose of consciousness oh would you say that free will is the purpose of consciousness or do you think our fates are predetermined, Gareth. So, here's what I believe. Not that I believe, here's what I trust. What you breathe life into is what you manifest and what you experience. <laughs> Out of everything we can control in this life, What's the easiest thing? <laughs> no, what's the number one thing you truly have control over? From the day you were born, your breath. That is a starting domino. Because once it starts to hit the other dominoes from your blood, and then your blood is shifted by how you breathe, and that pattern of how you're breathing goes into the blood, and the thought patterns while you are breathing, how that, that goes into the blood's memory, into every single cell. Everything, every single cell is alive and moving, right? And communicating. They communicate. Cells communicate. This isn't woo-woo. Cells actually communicate. Breath is also a language and sending feedback to those cells. And then those cells make up the rest of your body down to the brain of how you think then it affects your emotions and they're all one <laughs> there is no disconnection whatsoever the breath is the one powerful string that again resides in all dimensions of reality and attaches and detaches it attaches and detaches at the same time that's how much it respects everything in terms of air in terms of energy itself that's how much it respects you. Hi Devon, thanks for everything. I bought the remote scaler and sent in a DNA a couple weeks ago. Have you put any new photos or DNA on the machine lately? I'm really excited to feel the effects. Oh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, if it's a couple weeks ago, we definitely already sent sent you. Um, yeah, email me. Oh, nature herself bought a badge. <laughs> That's my partner. She bought a badge. 
shout out to nature herself 369 uh, shout out for Kim Kim Spiration I am thank you thank you guys for buying a badge thank you for the support and love I really appreciate it hi Devon do you have any guided breathwork videos I started fasting for five days today I would like to get energy from breathing yeah so if um, the Breath Family Members Group is not in your alignment, then definitely check out, I have some videos on YouTube, I have a playlist that says Breath Sessions, tap in there. And then whenever it's in your, in your alignment, I want to let you know there's Breath Library, we have different categories, we also do Breath Dojos together. Uh, and if you don't know what Breath Dojo is, Breath Dojo is available for all levels of breath work, you're welcome in. All levels of breath work is welcome into Breath Dojo. All levels. There's a <laughs> new spice. And I love when breath work teachers come in themselves and, and share their experiences. I'm really, truly honored uh, for that. So we have, we start from 3 a.m. Eastern time all the way to literally the next day. Or some days we might go even two days. And we have a session every three hours. Literally, every three hours. And you can jump in whenever you want. It's not, um, you don't have to make that big of a commitment. You can jump in for the morning and then you have to go to work or something. Then you come back. We're still going at it. And every single thing we do together as Breath Family, or even for my one-on-ones, it's available for, for playback. So the energy is still running within that. Oh, thank you for the badge love, uh, Phil. Phil the Felice, thank you for the badge love. Lover for life twenty eight, thank you for the badge love. Ram Ram, <laughs> thank you for, thank you for that Gareth. Yeah, we're gonna jump into a breath session in a little bit. How can we join the Breath Marathon? Oh, you mean the Breath Family. So you just go to the website, www.alchemybreath.work slash breathfamily, breath-family, or just go to the main website, alchemybreath.work, and click Breath Family. It's right there. Philippe, our repeat, thank you for the badge love. Thank you so much for the badge love, guys. Thank you for supporting breath consciousness. It's not just me. It's breath consciousness and it's way bigger than me. <laughs> oh, Ashley. Yeah, Bashar literally said there's nothing wrong about the pokes. So Ashley's referring to the time when I was asking Bashar about the scalar wave technology and stuff. So... It depends, actually. I think what he really meant was, uh, you know, the placebo effect in that sense where you truly believe this thing, quote unquote, can't hurt me. And I'm going to post something about the nocebo effect. <laughs> the nocebo effect. Oh, man. When I saw that, <laughs> I was laughing for two days straight on purpose. I had it saved in my phone, the, the, this meme about the placebo effect and the nocebo effect. <laughs> Yeah, but actually, there's um, there's a lot of injuries. But hey, you did if you did see the Bashar video when I went to hey allergic reactions, then his tone kind of shifted. You saw that? He was like, oh well. Yeah, we don't want to comment too much about that and and your human race. Yeah, his tone completely shifted when I asked about the allergies. So. Uh, the next time, I think they're going to invite me um, in December. I think they're having one more. And I get to ask a couple questions. So this time I'm going to ask specifically, specifically, what particular set of frequencies that I can use on the scaler that people can send me pictures that have been quote-unquote poked or uh, I like to say candy stick. <laughs> use a can Got the candy stick. And what particular frequencies can I use to eliminate the spike proteins within them. 
and that's what I'm aiming for. Uh, for my birthday, I'm gonna do. If not, I can't do. I don't. I don't think I can do Bashar for my birthday. He's he's booked. But for my birthday, I'm gonna do someone else that's been very dear to me um, on this journey. Dr. James Cottrell. He's one of the few people out there ha that really use his abilities with law enforcement. <laughs> you know how many quote unquote psychic people? He doesn't even call himself psychic. He's he's more of a quantum um, channeler where he puts himself in hypnosis and literally goes into a quantum. You can call it channeling or quantum hypnosis, and then he starts answering questions and stuff like that. But literally, um, I've witnessed even in middle school. I've witnessed this man live going back and forth with um, Canadian radio uh, TV shows finding missing people with real law enforcement and when law enforcement started working with him I don't know some he had a family member within law enforcement and somehow they convinced him and they were skeptical themselves like if this doesn't work literally they said it on live TV like if this doesn't work we're not gonna be doing this ever again so in two weeks they found missing bodies and missing people and they actually helped put um, rapists behind behind bars that, that were on the run in Canada literally using his gifts so uh, I'm very inclined to definitely use someone like that I can really if they truly can tap into that and I've seen with my own two eyes um, definitely asking about scalar tech and how to amplify uh, the effects for the betterment of humanity for sure hey crystal tech yes yes Tyler has joined us <laughs> uh, let me give Tyler hey say hi Ty <laughs> Tyler's here you offer some breath work you just woke up <laughs> alright cool we're gonna we're gonna tap in uh, much love yeah, we can tap in like that. We all can, for sure. Made me ask this, his vertical, oh, veracity. Veracity, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Uh, Uncle Triple OG, thank you for the badge, love. Thank you so much. Okay. Thoughts on non-psychedelic mushrooms for nutrient benefits. Uh, go for the portobellos, not the not the shiitake, right? <laughs> yeah, just go for the portobellos. Lion's mane, chaga. You hearing this? <laughs> Reishi, cordyceps. That, there's so many. That's that's more up of of up his alley. Kaizen, Tyler, and Tommy Lockwood. They both work together. Name dropping here. <laughs> boom boom. Oh, guys. All right. So, another free entry here since you guys. Oh, they go, why not shiitake? Do you want to tap into that a little shiitake bit? Shiitake is technically a hybrid. So, it's a crossbred mushroom. It's not natural, not native to earth. Uh, and there's something where shiitake, when digested, it's, it's quite harmful for the, the body. So,. You know, you could try it out if you want to, but we suggest the portobello, the other medicinal mushrooms for, for most benefits. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, for shiitake, I think I remember, there's like some chemical imbalance that, that happens when you eat shiitake mushrooms. Yeah. Don't even drink it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever met someone who drank. Have you ever met someone, shiitake mushrooms? Yeah, I don't think, is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing. Very interesting though. Fasting with like mushroom. Uh, Shiitake mushroom. So mushroom. I feel like that would hurt because I've actually fasted. Long. This was when I was just starting, but it was I was doing like one meal a week type of thing on a whole month of just like liquids, and I fasted on. Remember spinach? Spinach was really hard on the body at a at a certain point. I could feel it. And then shiitake, and I'm like, shiitake, I thought all oh, mushrooms were good. And then, and then I did my research, and I didn't like what I found. And then it made sense to why I was feeling the way I was feeling at that time. It goes deep. I mean, we just think food is food. Vegetables are vegetables, fruits are fruits, but it goes way deeper than that. Yeah, man. 
Any breath work is breath work. Exactly. What do you think about sun gazing? Um, sun gazing. Uh, we do have sun gazing protocols in uh, the breath family members group. Lots of breath family um, content that we're dealing with sun gazing protocols. Okay. Yeah, we're going to tap into the breath work. A few more questions here and then we'll tap in. Is it true that the Airbender cartoon literally helped raise consciousness in real life with the mudras? Not sure what you mean. But speaking of mudras, why not? Yeah, let's actually tap into one. <laughs> or a couple, actually. So this is something you can easily do in your day-to-day -day life. Like I said, that's what Alchemy Breathwork is about. If some people are new here, I see a lot of new names I haven't seen before. Welcome. So, another aspect of alchemy, it's pure nasal breathing, no mouth breathing whatsoever, and get in the habit of swallowing your saliva after the breathwork as well, because that's, like I was saying, how breath communicates with your cells. Anything you create, saliva included, stores memory water has memory so it's storing that memory those patterns you were breathing in it's storing into the saliva and then you swallow that and you'll have deeper experiences with it so what we're going to be doing uh we're going to be doing finger breathing or you can call it mudra breathing if you want to even tap in there and what i mean by that and this is how i count when i i deal with clients like one-on-one -on -one. So if you look at your hand, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve pads on your hands. And we know from the sciences of mudras, right, that certain mudras activate different parts of your brain. Right? So we're gonna do about six rounds of this. No, let's do about 12 rounds of this. Sorry, let's do 12 rounds of this. And what's going to happen is for every inhale and exhale, what you're going to do is you're going to press. If you have fingernails, it's a great time to use them. <laughs> All right, so your, your index finger, that's one inhale, one exhale. And you really want to really press into it. One inhale, one exhale. And then the next pad that's going to be one inhale, one exhale. Next pad, one inhale, one exhale. And now you are learning to quote unquote breathe into different parts of your brain this way. And you're developing contrast. And someone was mentioning um, ways to let go more, right? So you're literally breathing into different parts of your brain doing this. So when you do this, set the intention. What are you accepting more with every breath? Are you accepting with every breath? I'm accepting more of the energy to let go of this addiction or whatever addiction it is. And you want to be, quote unquote, breathing into those parts of your brain. All right. So we're going to, well, let's just do about, mm, let's do three rounds in total. Three rounds in total. And you can also switch hands. If you want to switch, switch hands per round, or you can use both hands going one by one at the same time. Or maybe one hand is easier for you to really pay attention to, whatever the case may be. All right? So there's going to be a point where I say hold. When I say hold, you're going to then hold your exhale. And then with you holding your exhale, I want you to literally press on all the different parts that you were we were going back and forth with all right and then we're going to inhale pure silence letting go relax and then you're gonna breathe where you can't hear the breath at all okay and start to swallow your saliva then I'll say round two then we'll go round two again and then I'll say round three then round three again and then we'll end it there all right ready Tyler Alright, so I'll have my hands up to give you some guidance here, guys. So we're going to start with the inhale in three, two, one, let's go. 
Next hand, next part of your hand. Hold the exhale on the next one. Relax whenever you're ready to let go. Go into the silence of the breath. Breathe where you can't hear the breath at all. Deeper and deeper exhales. Next round, we're going to start in three, two, one with the inhale, let's go. Hold the exhale. into the silence of the breath, breathe where you can't hear the breath at all, deeper and deeper exhales. Next round, starting in three, Two, one, let's go. Hold the exhale. As you hold the exhale, squeeze everything you go to the bathroom with.
Thank you all for sharing the breath. Mm, how are we feeling? Does anybody want to hop on here live? So that was mudra breathing. And that's something you can do while you're walking, while you're even talking to somebody. You don't have to do the, the breath holding part, but like for every inhale, exhale, as you press, inhale, exhale, press, inhale, exhale, press, inhale, exhale, press, and then we go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's using breath work in real time. <laughs> Someone goes, damn, with the question mark. <laughs> Yeah, so now you guys got a taste of alchemy breathwork. Shoot, if some of you are um, breathwork practitioners and really want to um, utilize ways of bringing breathwork in real time beyond the sit-down session, alchemy breathwork is the next step. Not alchemy of breath. A lot of people <laughs> got us mixed up with alchemy of breath. I'm like, a lot of people say, hey, did you go to alchemy of breath? I'm like, no. It's two, two different, two different platforms. <laughs> totally different. I'm a beginner and that was phenomenal. Fire. Beautiful practice. It's even better when you sun gaze. Yeah. Someone goes, bring me back to those clubhouse sessions. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been on clubhouse. I think it's been a good month. But I was only there like once. I only like stepped in once. And some people have invited me on there. So I only go when I'm invited. Like to get interviewed or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't... I feel... Maybe if Clubhouse incorporates crypto or something. I don't know. Or... You know what they should do? They should incorporate some type of NFT platform where it's connected. Or something like that. You know Discord's doing that. You, you heard about Discord doing that? Uh, with, no, just crypto in general. And it's funny because a lot of people use Di Discord for like crypto communities. Yeah, that's gonna yeah so I, all this time, every time I heard about um, a crypto community in Discord, I'm like, at this point, Discord should just <laughs> incorporate <laughs> crypto. <laughs> hmm. Do you ski or enjoy skiing? Thoughts on breath while skiing? Ooh, that's an in-depth one-on-one. But yeah, I do work with athletes. That's a total different ball game. Is that copper in your head? Um, oh, so this is copper and gold. Uh, this one particular. And this one is titanium plated. And it's diamond crusted. Yeah, so anyone wants to hop on here live and share their experience? Uh, experience? Any advice on attracting a partner on the same conscious level? Uh, well, you are what you attract. Like attracts like, right? The other factor is the responsibility aspect, <laughs> right? Uh, but if you can get to know a person, honestly, every every person is different. But if you're talking about attracting. If we're not talking about the love aspect, well, love is part of it. You gotta love yourself. Um, but yeah, just vibrating on on you and not even worrying about attracting someone. See, when you take out the worrying aspect of it, now you allow things to to flow in more. Whether that be people, opportunities. When you take out that factor, it just comes. And you're like a magnet for it. It's becoming like a magnet. When you when you actually play with magnets, it's not. There's no lag time. It just it just comes together just like that. Oh, thank you, Philippe. I should go live. Let's see here. Oh, I went over the one hour. So I'm thinking of doing. Uh, I'm gonna put it live on the event hey there brother hello 
as we say pranam pranam in india i am from india ah welcome so i have been following you and uh, the amazing breath work that you you take care of everything i mean when you are breathing properly and uh, i just did a session with you now and uh, the experience was amazing thank you brother how you feeling you see i'm like a, uh, just flowing i and i'm i'm just calm and flowing <laughs> beautiful so that's something you can do randomly while you walk and and you're you're doing the mudra breathing while you're talking with somebody or while they're talking to you and you're just going back and forth it, it's so subtle but really powerful this one no the the whole thing that we did where we were going back and forth yes yes yeah. yes <laughs> I'll try I'll keep trying uh, see uh, this has uh, given me life breath work has given me life uh, and my life has literally changed uh, after following you and uh, the more, the breath work that you make us do <laughs> it's amazing you yeah, it's as if you're doing and you're not doing <laughs> exactly that's that's a, that's about that's how you how i how i share with it, the aspect of sharing uh the aspect of breath consciousness a lot of people ask me how many hours of breath work do you do every day on the outside looking in you would think 6 hours but if you really were to take this into practice 24 7 365 there's mental breath work there's quantum breath work there's so many different aspects of it that you really breathing into <laughs> literally it's really amazing and, and, and the that, that was just one that's so simple you can do every day you're not going to pass out you're not going to um you're not going to hyperventilate you know it's it's very powerful i have uh, i have even tried the breath work which you you uh, taught us a uh, little while ago uh stare at at something like uh, uh sun gazing and uh, inhale and oh, uh, oh, hold 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 when uh, sorry uh, the eye breathing yeah yeah that has helped me so much holding holding and uh, exhale holding and exhale from the lower chakras yeah i mean uh, from the muladhara uh, yeah. what you call as the lowest chakra Oh, the, basically the pelvic floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem is, I was after the breath work and this phase. I don't know. I'm recovering so much. Uh, I had a pelvic tilt. Pelvic tilt. My pelvic was tilted. Oh. So I had to go through so much of uh, physiotherapy and all. Uh, and uh, uh, now, when I'm able to sit, I am only concentrating on my breath. I mean, not concentrating, just flowing with the breath. <laughs> a concentration is again uh, doing something intentionally. And if, uh, when you remove the intentions, I think uh, maybe uh, you just go with the flow. <laughs> exactly. Yes, brother. You know it better. I mean, actually, I've got nothing to say. Just to be blessed out and blissful. uh doing this <laughs> thank you brother thank you for hopping on it was a pleasure meeting okay. meeting you and thank you for calling all the way from india much love yeah yeah it's the the only thing is like this is my penthouse and uh, i be with the plants yeah we we don't have a, like uh, the way you have it in european and uh, western countries where you have a, a whole uh, lawn or a, a garden uh, outside your house and you know we we have it we we have lesser spaces here oh. so put all the yeah uh, i i love the, the i love the fill up yeah fill up as many as possible <laughs> many plants as possible <laughs> yeah right, i mean i'm so thankful and uh, <laughs> Peace. Bless her. Peace. All right. 
what's was that all with the nose yes that was all with the nose uh, someone goes life is literally change oh you were talking about him yes it was, it was beautiful hearing that and how breath uh, incorporated that someone else wants to go live here Currently growing my apartment jungle. <laughs> Someone goes apartment jungle. Yeah, fill it up, fill it up with many plants as you can. If you don't have that many greenery around you, it will change your life as well for the better, just the environment. Is it best to squeeze the pelvic floor on inhales or exhales? Exhales, let go on inhales. exhales so something to note um why i focus on squeezing on the exhales only when you exhale your lungs is technically squeezing in a sense right it's contracting it's pushing air out so when you contract your pelvic floor there's a night there's a there's a pelvic diaphragm there there's another diaphragm there so why would you go against the grain doing the complete opposite so why not harmonize and that's really a full exhale and the more you do that squeezing only on the exhales letting go on the inhales the more you do that you're going to see how longer you can exhale even more as you squeeze and squeeze and squeeze as you exhale 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 out it's going to change <laughs> and if you if you've already been practicing inhale squeezing watch if you let go of that that inhale squeezing let that go and then only squeeze while you exhale you'll have even deeper exhales watch is contracting the pelvic floor move chi shakti up from the lower chakras well yeah as you exhale too and you're you you're um you have that unison of focus that unison of contrast so as as the exhale leaves in, in the sense air air the energy prana chi as the as the external prana leaves and you're squeezing down there it's pushing even more air and more of your lower lungs as well because the lower part of your pelvic floor um is literally close to touching the lower part of your lungs. So when you're squeezing down there, it gives a boost where all that blood is, where that's sitting down in the lungs, gives it that boost to really push it up even more. Four, to answer your question. Let's see, anyone else wants to hop on here live and share their experience with that breath? Riza, do you want to hop on? Let me see if I see um, more farm. Oh, did you get Gen Sex? <laughs> yeah, she went. She, I think she went up north. I see Mikey in here. Hey, brother. Seeing, seeing a lot of new faces. Okay, so to enter another entry, if you guys want to win the patent, if you guys want to win my patent um, after it releases, when I release it on that day, I'm going to choose one person. <laughs> Love this session, yeah. I want to answer this question. This is a really good question. What do you feed on apart from breath? Oof. Um, the energy of giving, the energy of the sun, the energy of friends, the energy of family, the energy of 
gratitude, the energy of being, the energy of love. Oh, we met at the Coconut Grove Market yesterday. Hey. <laughs> Oh, another great question. Can this be done at any age, like from children to elders? Yes. So that's a, that's the other aspect of alchemy breathwork. It is safe for kids. I need to, I need to upload that testimonial with the mother that came on. Do you see that one? Yeah. She came on with her nine year old. Yeah. So yes, it's really powerful. I personally even work with kids uh, from time to time. Uh, there's a school in Pennsylvania that I work with. And they, they zoom me in. Mike wants to hop on. Mikey! <laughs> All right, after Mike, I'll, I'll tap into uh, giving you guys another entry. Hey, brother. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Are you in the beautiful. studio? Yeah, I'm at the studio. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Do you do you change the lighting? Is is those line lightings interchangeable? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, most of the time I always see you with purple. Yeah, I love purple. I love trans <laughs> uh, viol oh, purple violet transmuting energy. Always transmuting. How do you feel with that session, brother? It's been a while. How are you? I loved it. I loved it. I had uh, actually uh, been doing breath work all morning long. Uh, did what I call my column of ascension, connecting with Gaia, connecting with the universe. And um, just been out there in my uh, backyard chilling, uh, doing uh, a lot of work. And then I worked out doing uh, the threes, three in, three out. And uh, so I wanted to hop on just to basically touch on what you were saying. You can do this like any time of the day. I did it in the morning. It was at least maybe an hour and a half, two hours of breath work and meditation. And then uh, working out was about 40 minutes of breath work while working out. And then I come and sit down and I see you on here and I'm about to do a breath work session. I'm like, why not? <laughs> Let's do a breath work session with Devon. Okay. <laughs> that was my daughter. Have, have you tried? Oh, she left. <laughs> have, have you uh, gotten her to do some of the breath work? Have I? Uh, yeah, but they really drift off. <laughs> Yeah, they're, I try, but they drift off. I try getting them to meditate with me, but then it's like they're drifting off and it's like, I gotta, I think, do me first and just set the example. They've been seeing me for the past two years and, you know, I think at some point they're going to come around and be like, dad, I want to do that with you. So yeah. I, I don't, I don't want to push them. But yeah, I try. Mm. Taking deep breaths with me. Yeah, my daughter loves doing that too. Um, Lara, my middle daughter is one that, you know, uh, gets more in tune with everything that I'm doing. She actually the other day told me, Daddy, remember you told me that um, we should go like step by step when drinking urine? Like first, <laughs> like the book you said with this, like first, I told her, like, the first thing you should do is like put your finger in the, in the uh, urine and smell it. Just smell it and, you know, get the smell in. And then the second thing is uh, taste it. And she's like, so I'm taking a shower and I uh, start peeing. And I see the, the, the pee coming out and put my finger in and I'm, I smell it. And then I taste it. It didn't taste that bad. I'm like, right? <laughs> <laughs> so Lada's like more in tune with everything uh, in regards to that. She also is the one that like proactively says she wants to do something like breathe or meditate. So I think it's just a matter of time and the domino effect will happen with all three of them. My 14 year old, she's a teen right now, so she's like too cool for everything. So, oh, <laughs> yeah. well, you gotta you gotta put on the on the, on the breath music. <laughs> I should do that. I haven't done that. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, Mike here has actually been part of Breath Family for how long now? Five months, maybe four months. Um, oh wow! Well, yeah. I've been following you for like two years and just uh after uh, being in fort lauderdale meeting up with you and then uh 
coming back to Costa Rica, it took me a while to actually get in the uh, fam, uh, trying to situate myself better financially for different things. And, uh, and then, yeah, I think it was like somewhere around June, June, July. Fire. Yeah, badass, bro. I've been doing a lot of um, the uh, dojos, breath dojos. So oh, just, breath dojos, okay. Yeah, just put them on and do the breath dojos like if we were doing them that same day. And beautiful, <laughs> the energy. And I love, I love doing it because when, when you do breath work on your own, if I, I've noticed it's different. It's um, the energy is not moving as much. It moves, of course, but when you're in community, it's just like you're feeling everybody. And you're feeling the wholeness of everything that's happening and you're just becoming one with everybody that's there. And that's where, where I really feel it. Like, oh, shit. Like, just right now, <laughs> my breath work session alone, it was great. I loved it. I, I, I got the feeling I, I love uh, getting. But doing it with you guys just now, I was like, oh, there you go. <laughs> At next level, doing it with people. Uh, you're at that point where you can feel the contrast now. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. It's like, wow, it's completely different being done with people. And some people, and, and actually I've noticed with some people, it's not felt as much. Maybe because their energy levels are, or their frequency is not as high, or maybe because they're not really feeling it, or maybe because they're not like, oh, well, let's get this over with. Because some people would just do it and be like, oh, I just want to get it over with, and they're not fully into it. Whatever the reason may be, I've felt that difference too, where it's like with some people, I'm like, oh, it wasn't felt as much as I felt the last time with somebody else. Mm. Yeah. Got to that point. It's beautiful, man. Thank you for uh, everything you do for us uh, regarding breathing. It's so important, so beautiful, and so uh, divine. <laughs> A lot of people forget to breathe, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I hope. Um, I I don't hope. I know this. This. Uh, this patent reveal is. Oh, you saw. You saw a picture of it in the WhatsApp group. Did you in the in the group? Of, of the what reveal? Oh, the patent. Yeah, I saw that picture. Saw I, that? I was like. What? Yeah, so <laughs> I think that that's definitely going to shift a lot of things um, for a lot of people, a lot of people. So uh, I'm really pumped to well, you reveal. Got me <laughs> not, not, I was like, this crazy mofo, man. Devon is so <laughs> The things he does, and I love that because you know my studio is called the Madhouse, and we're crazy people coming to create music. So, but I'm like this crazy mofo. What is he doing? What the heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that, and uh, and hopefully I can win uh, the patent. You said or win win like one of one of the things is is what you're gonna yeah. be. Yeah. Oh, so let, yeah, let's tap into that. So every time uh, you can also share uh, this particular IGTV to also win a free entry. So you get multiple entries, this IGTV and the other reels. As long as you share it, you get in, no, new entries. So if you share all three of them, that's three entries. Mm, and then I'm okay. going to put it into like a random accumulator thing. And then I'll have a name and then I'll go live with it, explain it, and then I'll announce the person at the end. Well, let's go. Let me get that. <laughs> all right, brother. Thank you for right, hopping bro. on. Take Peace. care, man. Much love. Peace. Oh, someone goes, can I pay for breath family with crypto? Unfortunately, Gumroad doesn't <laughs> do that. Not yet. But what you can do, um, a lot of people ask me to, um, if you're someone that really is um, trying to be off grid as much as possible with crypto and stuff like that, you can actually get a, a, a crypto debit card. They have those. And I believe that I believe I feel that within the next two years you're gonna see mastercard visa like all those all those big platforms you're gonna see an entry a way to quote unquote pay with crypto like on the dot just like that so people won't even have to sell their crypto anymore at a certain point it's gonna come within the next three years i'm gonna give it three years that's gonna happen few weeks ago you said the mind glasses would have a design on the lid if i order now would it have one yes yes the next the next batches will have that um the scalar design on top of the lid 
So stay tuned for that. All right, guys. Thank you all for sharing the breath, sharing the badge love. I really appreciate it. And share this live, share the breath, and uh, share your experiences when you do share this live of what you felt in this session that we did. And don't let it end here. Do it in your daily life. That's what it's about and making every breath into gold. And then sooner or later, you now start seeing and feeling that your whole life is gold, which it is. And that's a constant reminder. Peace and blessings. <laughs>